All right, guys. Uh, in this video, we're going to quickly go over how to um, add and delete a database. So I'm going to be using my mega database and correspondence databases to uh, show you guys. Um, so the first thing I like to do is just close out of here. Uh, and I have my databases here set up, my player base, correspondence, and mega database. Uh, I'll start with my correspondence. And this is pretty straightforward. Straightforward uh, Windows installations. Just follow the prompts. takes a few minutes for each one. In the mega database, I believe it takes uh, you know, three or four minutes, depending on the speed of your machine. You finish that up, just show that, uh, that it's there. And as you can see now, we have our correspondence database here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and close that out again. Do our mega. Same deal, you know the drill. Uh, by the way, this is going in your home, in your uh, documents chest-based folder. I'll go over that in a few minutes. This takes, uh, like I said, a few minutes. I'll be back in a sec. All right, that's all finished. Just click finish up. Make sure it's nothing went wrong. And here we have our mega database and our correspondence database. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the player base. This is going to be going in your documents chess base play base. This also takes a few minutes. Be back. All right, looks like we're all finished up with the player base. Um, so let's go ahead and fire it up one last time. And we have our, like I said before, so we have our mega database, our correspondence database. Um, and then over here, if you look into your folders browser, this is your my databases area where you can add and delete um, icons for different databases if you wanted to. Um, your actual database path is up here, and then what, it, what that is, is if you go navigate to your documents on your PC, there's going to be a folder called chess base, and that is basically what this database path is looking at, as you can see. So this is your bases, which is your databases. Uh, that's where all your databases are kept. Um, as far as I know, all of them, uh, I've only installed these two. Um, but I'm pretty sure that is where it will install all the others unless you specify otherwise. So you go into that, you'll see where <coughs> all that data is. Okay, so those are the two databases. Now what you would want to do if you ever wanted to remove a database. Um, oh, by the way, the player base that I installed is here and play base. Now this, this would have some indexing to do. Uh, I'm not going to play around with that just yet. We'll go over that in a separate video, the player base. Um, and that's a runtime error, and that's bad. Um, let's restart. <laughs> All right. So here's your database path. Now, if you ever wanted to remove a database, what do you do? So you basically just want to, I'm in my, my databases view. <clears throat> you could just right click on it, and then delete. Not going to do remove because that's only going to ask you if you want to remove the symbol. That won't remove the actual database uh, and all the data. What you want to do is remove, delete all files. And you can either delete physically or move to recycling bin. What you want to do is, well, I like to just delete physically. Um, and then you just hit OK and that would do that. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to cancel out. Um, and that's about that. So. That's it for adding and installing databases, and um, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.